Hello, people. So you wanted a review of 43-inch television provided by Worldlink in festivity offer. So here I am giving you a quick review. Since I bought this just today, so this is a 43-inch television. I think you have all seen the box before. So this is actually an Android TV which comes with Android 9.0 and it's a full HD TV. It's not 4K TV. It is of course a smart TV which has all the features of Android 9.0 and I'll show you it's from the beginning so I am sort, sorting down the TV so that I can just show you how it boots. So this is the boot screen, the TV. It takes around 30 seconds to boot up. So I have connected this TV to the Ethernet cable. Of course it is Worldlink Wi-Fi. And then this is the welcome screen. Just like any other smart TV. You have all programs and apps in the first welcome screen. And it's a decent screen I would say. It's not bad. It's a full HD. They say it's A plus panel. But I don't think it is very durable kind of screen like Samsung, LG and other high-end manufacturers. Of course, it is not a high-end TV. But when you just look at the screen, you don't find any uh, anything bad about this screen. So you see there are apps, you can see some free channels, you can also use Net TV app to watch different channels in this TV. You don't need a separate setup box of Net TV, you can just use the app and to browse the channels and you also it is a full placed android okay you can use google play store it the specifications of this tv are uh, it contains one gb ram and i think eight gb rom so 1 GB RAM, I know it's very less for devices nowadays, but this is not a operating system that's that you are going to use all the time. So it will do its job. It is smooth. It's not bad. And this is the remote that comes with this TV. Okay, a simple remote. It does not have the mouse remote and all those. It's not a web OS, okay? It's an old operating system. The new Asuda TVs, they come with web OS, which has mouse remote. It is actually the OS from LZ TVs. So this is old model of Asuda. But to be true, it's not bad. You can use mouse connecting through the USB port a wireless mouse can be used to browse or you can also buy a small keyboard combo keyboard sort of thing to uh, help you better to navigate and type in things so this is a big basic TV I also connected it to my MacBook 
and to my PC via HDMI cable and uh, it went it, it worked quite well I have not used the Miracast feature yet but it I tried it in the Worldlink office itself where uh, the Miracast function was working well so you can also uh, just cast your screen to the TV or you can use HDMI cable to cast your laptop or MacBook or any other devices which can be connected through HDMI. There are two USB ports, two HDMI ports, uh, all the features that old TVs used to, used to have. So I would say it's a decent TV till now till it works it is decent so let's see after a couple of days i will give you more reviews like on the comments please check the comments later and this is the sticker in the panel you can just see things written here It's a good TV for the price, 27,000, not bad. So I hope you enjoyed and please go and check out the deal. World link. It's 43 inch TV. It costs around, it costs exactly 27,220, I think and i had i i was i'm a i am a subscriber of worldlink i'm an existing user so i had to pay i think extra four thousand rupees um for a six month because i already had two months left around two months left in my previous package so only four months uh, needed to be added so i paid only 48 Hundred something, so the total cost for me was around thirty-two thousand. I got this beautiful TV. Let's see if it works for a long time or for how much long it works. Okay, bye bye. Thank you.